affected. The different styles of bowlers we have among the, amongst the four semifinals to begin. The way it all breaks down, back into the pattern, but we really are surprised. The numbers are so low. Working on a spare, seventh frame. <laughs> Big one for Amoletto. Right now, the Venezuelan line is probably getting ready for the eighth frame, Dave Ryan, on the cheetah pattern. Thank I mean, you, ch Crocodile. Check out how beautiful this is. Watch this. I mean, and this style from Amleto is just ageless. I remember when he first came out on tour as a 19-year-old kid, a little wild with his delivery. Man, he learned how to bowl. Kept himself in great shape over the years and just looks the same week in and week out. Look at this. Ten. Ten pin, ten pin again. We will not translate. No. Um, I don't even want to respond to that, but hey, have another ten pin, guys. Does take the ten out. Our max scores are very close right now. 228 for Amleto, 227 for Traber, an 11 pin difference between the two. We talked about the incredible drought. Very big for Traber. <laughs> Common theme, 10 pins. You know, I don't even know how to respond. Both players have made the adjustments to get their ball to face the pocket. That's half the battle. Once you've done that, can't control pin carry. I mean, you can to a certain extent, but when you can't get it to the pocket, <laughs> makes it tough. <laughs> Through eight. The numbers are sinking rapidly in terms of the max scores on your far right there. Come on, this, you gotta get this one. Yes, you do. Only seven combined strikes. We thought we'd see big numbers on this pattern. It does not turn out that way. Now it's just a battle. We'll grind it out. Paralyzing five going down late. More like that. Maybe who gets the best breaks will win this match. Yeah, it's gonna be the guy who actually Carries a 10 pin or maybe goes light and carries a Wally like Dave Traber just did. He says, hey, you know what? I flushed the last three or four in a row. Maybe if I go light, I'll strike. Right now, I'm Leto Monticelli in the driver's seat. Chance here. 22 pin lead, foundation frame. For the Venezuelan star. Wow. That is a big shot. Wow. Check this out. You better get it off your hand clean when you're going that way, because if not, it's going to go straight into the into the gutter. He got that ball off his hand perfectly. It gets to that dry part of the lane, sucks back right to the hole. You saw what he needs for a win. This is an incredible story. For Atlanta Monticelli, a few weeks ago, before the ball equipment chain, was considering giving it up and building a bowling center back home in Venezuela. Wow! Yeah! And a big strike there he needed. And now he is on the verge of exemption. Back in the day here at Riviera, I remember Bo Burton saying, trust is a must or your game is a bust. You can't trust it any more than that. Amleto, ninth spare, will win his 19th title. Are you kidding me? 7-10, incredible. He can now lose. He can now lose Not this again. tournament. Unbelievable. Pocket 7-10. Let's give him one. He's going to shoot 215. Dave Traber can throw three in the 10th to win by one pin. You need all three. Uh, what a 
That's about. Only three have made the 7-10 on TV. It didn't happen for Amleto. Norm Duke, Dave Traber, Long Island. A couple years back, what a tournament that was. He needed three. He got them. Went into the roll-off. One by Norm Duke. He's got to have all three, folks. Here's one. Ten pin. Can't throw it any better than that. Amleto's done it. Hugs all around, in any language. It's been a long, long time, but it's here now. You will not get enough of me. Okay. Okay. This man nearly retired from the PBA Tour if he wasn't going to be exempt, and now he's a winner. Couldn't throw it any better. And on his field shot, leaves another ring in 10. In the legendary house of bowling, Riviera Lanes, Fair Lawn, Ohio, PBA legend, Hall of Famer, Emblem Monticelli, victorious again. Awesome.